Berg's here oh, with a wow. very traditional Turkish dish that is great for the warmer months. Is that right? It is. I mean, you can cook it throughout the year, but now that it's sunny, finally... Sorry, I just said the warmer months. I meant the... the, the war... Yeah, it's the warmer months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I? The warmer months. Otherwise known as the... It is the warmer, warmer months. months. Yeah. Summer. <laughs> well, it... Summer. <laughs> Summer. Well, it is a sunshiny dish. You know, it's got spices in there. It's a one-tray bake. Eat it outside. You know, cook it indoors, but you can eat it outside. You have me at one-tray bake. I know, I love right? a one-tray bake. <laughs> So, and it starts with the potatoes. So, Elise, can we just say, me and Alison have been talking about this for the last hour during the break. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's just like, what are you going to do with the lamb? Smash it. Yeah, me too. I'm going to smash it as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. So, I'm going to start with the potatoes while you smash the kefta. <laughs> and uh, so, we've got some corn flour going into the potatoes. And because these aren't being parboiled, it's easy to give them a zhuzh. It's, um, the corn flour makes it crisp up when it cooks in Does the it? oil. So, yeah, so it's a kind of cheats way of getting really lovely crispy potatoes. They're raw, though. Potatoes. They're raw. Yeah. That's They're just new thing. potatoes sliced. And once you've mixed the corn flour in, you go in with the same amount of olive oil that mm. you've used in terms of the corn flour as well. And yeah. I've got some spices here. The same spices are going into the potatoes that also go into the kefta. So I've got ground cumin. Yeah. I've got some smoked paprika, which isn't necessarily a traditional Turkish ingredient, but I love mm -hmm. it. So fume, kırmızı. Yeah. Biber, OK, so toz biber. So that's basically smoked paprika in Turkish. And fume means smoked. And it's just that it gives a lovely sweetness in terms of... Because you've got the cumin, which is quite earthy. Cumin, and I've got, a, cumin a big thing in Turkey. Cumin's a big thing. So that's going that. in there as well. And I've got some... I can't remember if I said pul biber um, as well. And I've got that in, which are Aleppo pepper flakes. And I've got some dried mint. And I love dried mint. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, it tastes so different when it's dried as a herb than it is when it's fresh. And you just mix all of those up and you well, kind you of... Make, you break this bread. I made that. So bread. good. Good. It's cheddar, kubra's cheddar, which is a really traditional Cypriot seeded loaf. So it's segmented and you break it apart and you dip it in and it's really spiced, nice. ever it's so slightly nice. spiced. So once you've got your potatoes all lovely and mixed up like this. It's not your seasoning the potatoes. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to add the flavour. Otherwise, wow. you've got kind of, you don't want bland potatoes with lovely, delicious kefta. You want no, everything exactly. to be flavoured. And that goes into some hot oil. So this tray has been in the oven. The oil is hot, and one thing that you kind of need to take care of when you add the potatoes to the tray, if you can, I'm going to do it very quickly, is to flip the potatoes, cut side down, so that the cut side rows first, turn lovely and crispy, and then you can flip those over when you take the tray out halfway through, because the kefta don't get added now. The yeah. potatoes need about half an hour to cook, whereas the kefta only needs about 15 minutes. The lamb, okay. the lamb, yeah, right? That's it, lamb kefta. I mean, lamb, but you can make this with beef, beef, you can make it with chicken, you can make it with meatless mints as well. Yeah, pork, maybe? Or... Pork, whatever you want to do. I mean, you can use any mints that you want. You can actually leave out the egg if you want, and that will completely veganise it as yeah. well. So you can do, you know, you, it's really versatile. And I've got breadcrumbs going into the lamb mints here. Again, if you keep a gluten-free diet, you can use gluten-free breadcrumbs. Yeah. So it's really adaptable. So I've got the lamb mints. I've got some onion here. And does the bread, like, pull it to, like, all together? Is that the reason why exactly. you add the bread? It softens the mince. Yeah. And it prevents it from going tough. So that's all going to go in, like... so. Again, the same spices as earlier with the potatoes. Dried mint, cumin, pulby bread, that's smoked so paprika, parsley... And I've got parsley in the what salad the there as well. You, is it a Turkish one? You Aleppo mean? pepper flakes or Turkish pepper red flakes. pepper flakes, right. also known as pulby bed. And you mix it all together and the egg just binds it. But if you don't have um, any eggs at home or you don't want to add egg or you've got an egg intolerance, just add a bit of olive oil as well. You mix that all up like so until it forms a lovely cohesive mixture which I probably am going to go to, say, here's one I want made earlier. Uh, you can see <laughs> over there. Just give my hands a wash and I'll just so show you. For the so oil in the potatoes, do you use olive oil when you roast? Or I do, yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes, obviously, you kind of say... People say you shouldn't use olive oil because of, you know, if you put too high a temperature, it will burn. It doesn't. As long as you've got the temperature below 200 degrees, you're mm. absolutely fine. So once you shape your kefta, if you actually wet your hands to shape them, it makes it much easier. So yeah. once you've shaped them, here's one I made earlier, then they are good to go into the oven. So I'm going to take out the potatoes. Once they've had 15 minutes, they look like this and they smell absolutely delicious. Ah, and we're just going to flip those over so you can see the underside roasts really nicely, starts to turn lovely and crisp and give them a turnover so then the skin 
they taste incredible. Oh, I'm so pleased. Literally, I could just have that as my meal. Just have the potatoes. I don't need anything else. They're that tasty. You could just have them potatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm such a potato yeah. fan. So once you've turned those over, and they're delicious with that whipped tahini yogurt. Oh, yeah. Which I'll show you how to make in a minute. So once you've turned over your potatoes, add your kefta to the tray. I mean, we're Lots doing this. Um, potatoes in Cyprus, because um, I see sometimes they, they grow quite a lot, they sell over here. Don't... Cyprus potatoes, I mean, don't even get me started. They are the best. They're just buttery and waxy and crispy and delicious. Is that like the taste of your childhood? Oh, my God, the taste of my childhood. Potatoes with hummus or a whipped tahini yoghurt, which we've got there. Brush your kefta with oil, yep. pop it back in the oven. We'll go back to potatoes and whipped tahini yoghurt in a sec. And then pop this back in the oven. And what you do here is you whip together some tahini, some lemon juice, yeah. some water and salt with some yoghurt and you get that delicious, oh, it's beautiful it's mixture such there. You've got to whip it all up. Mixture and it's so tasty. It's so tasty, isn't it? So once you've whipped it all up, do it like this. Lovely sesame taste to it, isn't it? Beautiful mm. sesame taste. You get a lovely thick paste. Be patient with it. You add the yoghurt to it and then you've got this absolute deliciousness. Your which... salad is lovely as well. And that's just cucumbers, tomatoes, parsley. We've got some spring onion in there and we'll just plate it up like so. Once you've added your yoghurt in and it's all to do with the plating as well because it absolutely looks you want me to pop those Yeah, on? let's pop some of those yeah, on. Yeah, put them on. Oh, I get involved. Potatoes, pop this those on. This looks so beautiful. And then while you pop those on, I'll garnish. Bada bing, bada bong. She's done it again. Bada bing, bada bong. It's so and we've nice. Got a lovely drizzle of just some extra virgin olive oil. Absolutely nailed it, Bergie. Full bibber, Bergie. I love that. And some dry mint. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. That's Thank Friday. You, oh, Friday. Pleasure. Done. Pleasure. Delicious. Uh, all the details of today's recipe. More delicious ideas from our brilliant this morning chefs. Just head to the free this morning.